everyone, so it's time for me to change up my monthly makeup basket. I am going to do things a little differently this time. Since I am doing a Project 10 Pan and a Finished 6 by Fall, I really want to focus on those products, but I also want to play around with the new makeup products that I got this month as well. So I'm going to try and incorporate all of those things this month. Um, I usually am able to access the rest of my makeup every month, but I'm not going to be doing that this month. I am going to pick out all of the items that I can use this month, and I'm going to try and just stick with that. So let's get started, and I'll show you what I chose. All right, so I chose two face primers this month. The first one here is by Benefit. It is the Pore Professional. It's just a mini. I have this in my finished six by fall. I think I'll go through this relatively fast. So I also chose the L'Oreal Pore Vanisher. This is very similar to the Benefit one but I would say the formula is a little bit more lightweight than the Benefit one. I do enjoy them both though. I also have a couple different foundations. The first one here is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I have this in my Project 10 Pan. It's in the color Buff, but it is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to be mixing that with my BB Cream from Hand Skin. This is a whitening BB Cream, so the two of these actually make a really nice combo. The next one is also from Elf, and this one is in my Finish 6 by Fall. It's the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation. This one is in the color Porcelain, so much lighter than the Buff Foundation. So I could probably mix this with that as well. I have already hit pan on this also, so, um, so I do want to try and focus on these. But I did hit the max for this month, and they gave me three different foundations to try. These are all the Studio Fix Fluid. The first one here is the NC15. I also have NW15 and NC20. So um, we'll see if one of these works. And the only powder that I'm going to use this month is also by e.l.f., and it's the Translucent Mattifying Powder. I really enjoy this powder. You can see I have already hit pan on this. This is also, I believe, in my Project 10 pan. I don't think that I will finish this up this month, but it is definitely going to be close, so that'll be good. I also have a couple different blushes. The first two are in my Project 10 pan. The first one here is by Be A Bombshell. This is called the One Stick and it is in Girl Crush. It's a gorgeous baby pink color, very pretty. The next one is by The Bomb. This is in the color Pie. This is a gorgeous shade for fall. I have that on my lips and on my cheeks now, so um, it definitely is a dual purpose. And I have hit so much pan on this. I think this will be done pretty darn soon. I also chose a blush and bronzer palette to try this month. It's by Laura Mercier. They are all crazy cream products. Um, let me see if I can show you without blinding you. So there is a bronzer here, two different blushes, and then two different highlighters as well. So this will definitely be really handy if I get bored of the other two blushes. Um, and then I decided since all of those are cream products, I definitely have to throw in at least one powder product. So I chose the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer in St. Lucia. So this will be nice to go over the top of those cream products. I also have another highlighter. This one is by e.l.f. This is in my Project 10 pan as well. So I'll try and focus on this more than the Laura Mercier palette. Okay, so moving on to eyebrows, I chose the Ofra eyebrow pencil in Universal. This is a dark chocolate color. You can see my eyebrows are pretty dark, but you can sheer it out so it's not so dark. So there it is. Um, this one works really nice with my eye. So I'll probably just stick with this for a bit. Um, to tame my eyebrows because they do get a little bushy, I have the e.l.f. Eyebrow Treat and Tame. So there is the treat formula on this side and then the tame on this side. It is in the color medium. It's not as sticky as the Anastasia Brow Gel, but it definitely does help to keep them in place. Okay, so for eyeliner, I have two. The first one here is by Be A Bomb, and this is a liquid eyeliner 
in Onyx. This is also in my Project Time Pan, so I really want to try and use this up. I go back and forth with eyeliner. Some days I really enjoy the look, and other days I just feel like it makes my eyes look really dark. So this is going to be a bit of a struggle to get through. But for my waterline, I love the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Nude. I wear this almost every day. So I'll have no problem just sticking with this this month. I also have a couple different concealers. The first one here, I believe, is in my Finish 6 by Fall. It's by CoverGirl. It's the True Blend Fix Stick. This is really nice for just little spot treatments, but it isn't good for the under eyes or the nose area. It does get a little cakey around those areas. So I had to pick up a new concealer this month, and it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is in the shade NW20. I have yet to try this, so I'm very excited. Hopefully these will be the only concealers that I'll need this month. I also have an eyeshadow primer. This one is by Too Faced. It's the Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. I have not tried this before, so that'll be really fun to test out. To go along with that, I picked up a MAC Paint Pot in Painter. So I'm hoping that the two of these will go really well together. I plan on putting the primer on first and then the paint pot. So we'll see how that works out. I also chose a couple different eyeshadows. This The first one here is in my Finish 6 by Fall. It's the Neutrogena Eyeshadow Stick in Pretty Pink. This is a gorgeous color. I think this will be really nice for the inner corners and a base color that I can use as well. And my favorite new purchase this month is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I am so excited to use this. I already have it on now. And of course, this smells so delicious. I am so excited. I probably will just be sticking with this all month. But I also wanted to include an eyeshadow quad this month because they are gorgeous fall colors. This is by Be A Bombshell, and this is in Bora Bora. I just think that these are really gorgeous fall colors to use, so we'll see if I even get to this. I almost forgot about mascaras. Um, the first one here is by Clinique. This is also in my Project 10 pan. It is dual-ended, so there is a lipstick on this side. It is in Glazed Berry. And the mascara is the Lash Doubling Mascara. I have it on now. I really enjoy this mascara, um, but it is starting to dry out a bit. So um, I have had this around for almost a year. I got this last Christmas, so I definitely should get to it. I don't know why I have been keeping it around because it just looks so adorable in the packaging, but it is time to try these. So this one has four different mascaras. The first one here is the one that I have been using. It's the Lash Doubling Mascara. The next one here is the Lash Power Mascara. It says it's long wearing and smudge resistant. The one on top says it's a high impact mascara. It says it's lusher, plusher, and bolder lashes, so that'll be fun to try out. And the one off to the side here says this one is made just for your bottom lashes. And for my lips, I have three different MAC lipsticks. I know I went a little crazy with my lipsticks this month. The first one here I got is in Faux. Um, I also got Brave and Twig. Twig, I think, will be really nice for the fall. Let me swatch these for you. So there is Twig. The next one is Brave. This one is a little than Twig. That is right there. So it has more of a pink undertone to it, but it is a warm pink. And the last one I got is Faux. And let's swatch this one for you. Very similar to Brave, I would say. But it has a little bit more of a mauve color, while Brave has more of a pink 
color to it. So yay, I'm so excited for these new lipsticks. I also chose a really fun purple color. This is by Laqua & Co. I think this will also be gorgeous for um, fall as well. So that one is right there. And then for lip glosses, I just chose two this month. The first one here is by Elizabeth Arda. This is a really nice shimmery pink color in the shade Precious Pink. I think this will be a nice universal color. If I want to brighten up my lipstick a bit, I chose the Chantecal Lip Gloss. This also has a little bit of a shimmer as well but it's definitely more of a reddish tint to it. So that's everything that I chose for my makeup basket for the month of October. I am so excited to try all the Too Faced and MAC products that I got this month, but I'm definitely going to be giving love to my Project 10 Pan and Finish 6 by Fall things as well. So thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Well, and then Michael Borden, a partner with the Red Sox.